Hi everybody, Ruben here with my uh, PE580 forum response for Unit 7, Growing Old Gracefully or Grumpy. Um, I did the lab, lab 15.1, the life expectancy, and physiological age prediction questionnaire. And the question was, uh, are your lifestyle habits accelerating or de decelerating uh, the rate at which your body's aging? And then what steps will you take? to delay or encourage the process. I um, actually did, ended up doing a little better than I thought. I thought it was going to be in the negatives. Um, but um, my net score ended up being a positive 5.5. And after doing the calculation, um, my uh, lifestyle habits are decelerating my rate um, by 2.75 years, so my life expectancy is uh, 79.75. Um, hopefully, I'll live uh, beyond that. My grandfather, my mom's side, actually lived to 98, and he was really healthy till basically up till the end. The last few months, he kind of deteriorated quickly, but you know, he was a healthy man. All my grandparents live into like their mid 80s so hopefully I got some of their genes um, especially my grandfather's but uh, some of the changes I can make um, to encourage a process I can definitely get better with my nutrition uh, which I have especially after starting this class and then also um, my activities I can definitely be more active uh, it's been tough obviously with all of us taking these classes and working and coaching especially right now it's really hard to be um, as active as I would like to especially with uh, lifting weights and uh, doing my cardio but I am up and around I'm on my feet I definitely get my steps in anywhere between 10,000 and 14,000 a day um, but uh, I think the combination of those two things could uh, greatly help. And all the things I've learned in class, uh, this class really came at the right time. Uh, good timing because I had a knee surgery back in January. Um, I had my knee scoped uh, prior to that about, jeez, uh, year and a half before that. I had a bone spur in my Achilles heel. I had Achilles tendonitis. Uh, kept playing on it. It got worse. And then ended up having a, a bone spur, which I needed surgery for. And then put me in a cast for six weeks. And then a boot for six weeks. And rehab. And all that time not being active before and after the surgery. Um, I ended up putting some weight on. Uh, I was very limited what I could do. And then uh, finally, um, I really missed playing soccer, so um, I ended up, started playing some soccer with uh, some friends, and, uh, just a co-ed indoor, just trying to get back into it to get in shape. But I was really overweight, which put a lot of weight on my knees, so I ended up injuring my knee. Um, it's being stubborn, so I should have listened to my body, but basically got some cartilage damage after I had the surgery the doctor told me um, I had to hang up the cleats uh, no more f um, high impact sports um, really like to play soccer a lot I haven't played basketball too much for a while but that's another activity I like to do but I really like to mountain bike and hike things like that but um, it was pretty depressing when he told me that uh I was be I was gonna be really limited to what I could do, so I ended up researching and finding out um, a little bit about stem cell injections, which saw some positive and negatives. But I said, "What the heck?" I tried it, and it actually worked out pretty well. And um, the doctor that gave me the injection informed me that I I got a lot of the cartilage back in my knee which I hardly had any cartilage left. I was almost bone to bone. And I was really trying to avoid having a knee replacement 
down in the near future, which my original surgeon had told me, which he thought if I ever had another knee injury, I would need any replacement. So having the stem cell injection really helped and um, it's pretty encouraging and motivating now for me to get get myself back in shape. So this class came at the right time where all this stuff we learned about nutrition and setting some goals and um, the uh, positive and negative effects of our or of what we eat and things, all the stuff that we learned um, really helped. I had a goal at the beginning of the class to lose 10 pounds, and I actually lost 12 so far, um, and most of it was basically changing my eating habits and just eating a lot healthier, a lot more fruit, uh, more vegetables, but I do need to eat more vegetables than I am, um, haven't ate any fast foods, no sodas, uh, but basically eating eating well and not not overeating or anything and eating a good breakfast which I pretty much did and or I, I would have a shake but um, I think now and after we finish this class we'll be off for three weeks we'll be off for three weeks from vacation so I'll definitely start working out more um, and then hopefully that'll roll over into we go into my next class but I really haven't had much time with the coaching and teaching and class time to work out, which I kind of regret, but at the same time, it's just, just, there's just no time for it. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to make more time for it. So that'll really help. I know that I've lost 12, but I'd like to lose 20 to 30 pounds. According to one of the labs we did, I had to lose about 30 pounds, but I know if I'm lifting weights, I'm going to put on some some muscle, so I'll be pretty happy with losing about 20 to 25, and hopefully it'll be a, a lot healthier then. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks, and look forward to reading your guys' videos, or listening to your videos. Thanks.